Hello folks, welcome to my YouTube channel again. I'm back in here and I have a video for you now. It's called Some Parents Cannot Be Available Due to Dangerous Situations. In this case, the narcissist will threaten your life when it comes to your children. And when you do stay away because it's dangerous, the narcissist starts lying on you to the children and twist everything in their favor to make you look like a monster to your child. But you and God both know you are a loving parent. Pretty much your kids are your world and you love them very much. But the evil narcissist will try to take this away by lying about you. When the narcissist does not love their own child, so they destroy the child's life and yours too. If this happened to you, be patient. The child will start to see something is off about this behavior. The child will need to be count, have counseling or group therapy. The child will blame themselves and be very confused. Yes, folks, this is what they'll do. Uh, the child doesn't know what to think, you know, uh, all they know is, you know, the narcissist is their parent too. So everything that the narcissist tells that child, they're going to pretty much believe it anyway. And also the narcissist is a master liar and manipulator too, and they know how to manipulate the children in a way to make them believe every lie that they tell. And this is what happened to my children, folks. And I'm sure that you guys can relate to this too. I'm sure there's some out here that their children's in the same situation. That's just the way narcissists are, folks. They're the ones with the personality disorder and insecurities. So this is what they use as a control mechanism. And I don't know if I told you all this or not, but the narcissist also gets, tries to get custody of the children because like I told you, the narcissist will put you on a shelf, folks, while they find, find another form of supply because they, they think that if the children are still there, there was always that chance that you're going to come back around. And that's what the narcissist wants, folks. They want to try to keep you in contact with them. Because the narcissist doesn't miss you, but he may miss the form of supply that he had when you was with him. And this is just how the narcissist operates, folks. If they got the children there staying behind, they still got that form of supply, see. But then whenever they get done with the form of supply that they uh, got after you, then they'll, they'll try to come back to you. That's why it's important, folks, that if you're in a narcissistic relationship, stay no contact with them because this is how you're gonna break that pattern, folks. You're gonna break out of the pattern and become free from the narcissist. But if you keep contacting the narcissist, he'll try to keep you drawn into that. And you have to stay away from it, folks. But uh, yeah, some parents out here are unable to see their children because they're narcissists. Uh, could be physically dangerous to them. And then the narcissist will sit there and try to alienate the child from the parent too and lie to the child and make the child think that the parent truly doesn't love them. And we know that the narcissist does lie and they spread rumors on you that ain't true. So the children, uh, get drawn in with the narcissist. And as they're with the narcissist for a while, it becomes a norm to the children. 
And so they, they sank deep into the pattern with the narcissist. And hopefully that child can uh, get through all this stuff without being a narcissist themselves. But um, it's a pretty difficult situation for a child, folks. This puts children through a lot. But uh, the narcissist will gaslight the child, abuse the child, fill their head full of crap they shouldn't, and just destroy the child inside and out, folks, and they'll be so confused they won't know what to do. And um, that's just how they are, folks. The narcissists live in a pattern themselves and they want to be the superior one and they want everybody underneath them. So even though you've been gone for a while, they, in their minds, they've only put you on the shelf, folks. Don't let this narcissist put you on the shelf and be dangerous and use your child as a tool. Uh, I don't allow my narcissist to use the children as a tool because I went no contact with him a few years ago, and I haven't talked to him in years, folks, and don't want to. Um, the last time I talked to him is when my son flipped his truck and broke his jaw, and he was in the hospital. I called there and I didn't talk to him very long, but the narcissist was really nasty, like as always. Um, he was pretending like that I didn't have no right to call my son and see if uh, how he was doing, you know, after flipping his truck. And he was trying to lay it on like that my son didn't belong to him, you know, or belong to me. But that's what they do, folks. They try to take complete charge of your children and try to act like they belong to them. And they're going to try to do everything they can to keep your child away. But like I said, folks, you can't give up that easy. you got to keep writing letters to them and uh, let those children know that you are a part of their life, that... The narcissist has tried lying to him all this time. And um, just try to hang on to your children, folks. Don't give up. But uh, if you let the children know that you are truly interested in them, then that'll start making them wonder about the narcissist, you know. So we have to fight this, folks. We have to keep hanging in there and doing what we can to try to keep our children from being confused and stuff. And if they ever do come around, just get them counseling and work with them and be patient. And, and everything will work out, folks. Well, thank you for joining my YouTube channel. And I hope you have a nice day, folks. You're awesome and you got this, folks. Thank you and you have a nice day.